if you're looking to buy or sell your home anytime in the near future, you're gonna to want to stick around and watch this because I've got eight secrets coming for you here. And the years that I've been involved in real estate, both as an investor and as a real estate agent, I've learned a number of real estate tricks and I'm gonna share eight with them here today. Four for buyers, four for sellers. And I'm gonna tell you the last one I'm gonna cover is one you're not gonna to wanna to miss because that's gonna be kind of pertinent to both of you, whether you're buying or selling, you're gonna to wanna to know this secret. So stick around and watch this video that's coming up. Hey, and thanks for coming back to the channel. My name is Chris McMahon, and I am a real estate agent right here in the Saratoga area, covering from Glens Falls, Lake George, all around Saratoga, even down all the way to Albany, our capital here. Um, if you are new to the channel, please don't be like 85% who come in and just catch a little bit and they miss all the great action in the videos coming out, because I put out a ton of videos all about the Saratoga and the surrounding areas. We talk about businesses. We talk, of course, about real estate. We spotlight people. It's great. Click on subscribe and click that little bell so you get notified. I don't want you to miss anything that I got coming out here in the near future. So here we go. Let's get to the meat of the matter here. So we're talking about eight real estate secrets. And we're gonna start off first with some seller secrets here. The first Secret number one, open houses. They don't sell houses. Well, they do sell houses but not as much as you think. They're really more for the agent than they are for the buyer because only about 3% of houses sold are actually sold through an open house. So why do we take the time to do them? There's a good reason for it because it gives us face time with potential clients because we know that any significant face time, 75% of people are going to do business with the first agent that they do face-to-face -face contact with. Huh? Whether it's face-to-face -face there, Zoom, video, hey, eyes up here, they go over me, okay? Number two, pricing strategies. And there's a lot of different things about pricing strategies here. A lot of people just like to start high and then kind of just bring it, walk it down till they finally find that medium price. So they got time, they'll go for the gusto. Others will start low and start a bidding war and get it bid up to where it should be. But there's what I call the 357 rule. And that's where you're pricing your home to instead of going 99,900, people still associate that with 100,000. But if you make one slight change with it and bring it down a couple hundred bucks, 99,700, 99,500, 99,300, they associate that as actually a lower price and feeling that they're getting more value with that, even though it's only a couple hundred bucks. So pricing strategy is number two. Next, staging. There's all kinds of things you can do with staging. Remove clutter, get a little bit of personal items. Uh, another thing that you really want to do, and this is important, is smaller furniture makes rooms feel bigger. So get rid of the big clutter, big furniture and stuff like that. Make it spacious, make it feel bigger. And number four, for sale by owner. People go in and they do a for sale by owner because they want to save money, right? Why wouldn't you? I don't blame you. I'm gonna go out there and, and save some money. But the fact of the matter is, is for sale by owners don't save money um, for a couple of reasons. One is, in most cases, you're still actually gonna end up having to pay the agent for the buyer who's coming in. Like usually it's about, depending where you're from, we'll say in our areas, it's usually about two and a half percent that goes there. But also it takes longer. So your carrying costs, meaning your mortgage, utilities, that kind of stuff, and I don't know, maybe you're selling a house and you've moved into one already and you're carrying two mortgages or you need to sell your house before you can close on that other house that you really wanna move into. But it just usually takes longer, so those prices are going to carry on longer. And also, according to the National Association of Realtors, now, the average sales price for a for sale by owner is $60,000 less than someone who lists with an agent. And that jumps to $90,000 less if the owner and the seller of that have some sort of relationship and they know each other. So you're not really saving money when you're going with for sale by owners. So let's flip this over here. Let's go on the buying side now. So it's buying, something you're gonna to wanna to know. Real estate agents, we speak our own language here, all right? You may need someone to help you decipher some of the language that we have out there. Like for instance, charming. Charming really means small. Cozy means the house is falling down. And mature landscape pretty much means it's overgrown, dead, and it's just totally needs to be redone. So 
There's a lot more than just those three things right there, but we've got our own little language right there. Most real estate agents can decipher and get through that. Um, also, you have to disclose if your house is haunted. Yes, it's true. New York State does have a law for paranormal activity. If you've had, it's one of four states that actually has something that addresses this issue. But if you've gone public, say you have had your house on, put on a ghost tour, or maybe you've had, you know, applied to be on one of the shows where they come in and they do the ghost searches in your house. Uh, if you've gone public and you have said that your house is haunted like that, then you actually have to disclose that to people, potential buyers. No, that doesn't mean that if you just suspect your house is haunted, only that, that you have to disclose it. But if you've gone on record saying it, then yes, New York State does require that you have to disclose that. So. Also, creative financing, because there's more than just a traditional 30-year fixed mortgage loan to buy a house. There's other ways to do it. There's rent to own. There, where basically that's pretty simple, is you portion of your monthly rent to the whoever owns the house, a little bit portion of that goes towards, towards a down payment. Also, owner financing, where the owner, if they own the house free and clear and there's nobody with a wing on it, can actually hold the mortgage and instead of making payments to a bank, you make a payment to them and a suitable mortgage. VA loans and FHA loans are both two types of assumable mortgages where it's literally just what you sound. You can literally just take over the payments of the mortgage and move forward with it right there. Usually the owner of the home, whoever it is, will want some sort of fee to do that, but you can assume that mortgage to take it over and make the payments on your own and take possession of the home. <clears throat> and here's the last one that we've all been waiting for. Super secret number eight here, and that is assume you are being watched. Now this goes for both sides here. Not that the buyers are bringing a camera, but here's a little bit of a story I got for you. Colleague of mine mentioned this, that they were very good in the house. They were going around, they were looking at the house, and they didn't talk about it because, well, everybody has cameras and stuff nowadays with the security systems and everything like that, for good reason. And they got out of the house, they thought they were far enough away from the house but they weren't because their doorbell camera actually caught the conversation. They made an offer on the price and they won't knew how high they talked about how high they were going to go. So when they made the offer, the owners of the house knew exactly where they go. Guess what they went to? They went to their max price. They bought the house. They came to agreement, but the sellers had that disadvantage because they were able to kind of eavesdrop. So do not talk about the house, any purchasing strategies or any of that. Anywhere near the house, make sure that you're safely away from that house before you start that conversation. So again, I'm Chris McMahon. I'm a local real estate agent right here in the Saratoga Springs, Glens Falls area. I love talking real estate. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And if you got any questions or anything like that that I can help you out with, reach out, call, text, email, whatever it is. Reach out, get a hold of me. Be more than happy to help you. It's never too early to start looking for that house and start planning. All right, if you're looking to purchase any time in the next year or so, reach out and get a hold of me now. Let's have a conversation. Let's put a plan together. Let's get you in touch with some lenders, uh, attorneys, all that good stuff. So, again, subscribe to the video, and I will catch you on the next video.